Hello, sunshine. This is Joy from Michigan in the U.S. And I'm going to try a Kathy Miller inspired, modified, I don't know what even what she calls it. It's not a bloom, but it's similar. So I have some pigments that I found. They're very old. I don't know if they'll do the same thing as hers, but we're going to try it. This one is, I saved my little Look at that, it's got typewriter labels. <laughs> That's how you know it's old. All right, hot red. And I'm just gonna do, I think I just wanna do a swipe across the middle because this is more of an experiment. So in order to know what these paints are gonna do, I'm just gonna wing it. And then I have, this is yellow brown. You can see I did a little experiment before it did not work out. I think she calls this, what is this, a layer? Layered? I can't remember. Check out Kathy's uh, YouTube channel. It's Kathleen Miller, but she goes by Kathy. Um, I'm trying to put my lids back on my paint when I finish so I don't spill them. All right, I'm gonna add some copper. This is just mixed with Floetrol, so it should act as a cell activator. And give us some nice cells. And then this, I believe is spruce green. Yes, spruce green. It's trying to go with kind of fallish colors. These paints are mixed with Kathy, Kathy Miller's uh, pouring medium, which is polyacrylic triple thick and Color Arts Vivid Enamel. So for my, my top, I'm going to do a swipe with black. I'm running to the clean places to set things. So when you do a swipe, you need to clean your swiping tool every single time. So I'm trying to find a spot to put stuff. All right, there's something to wipe it on. And I'm just going to pour my black directly onto my swipe tool. She uses a card and a tile. She puts the black on a tile. So we'll see. My cells are so much smaller than hers. I don't know if that's because of the pigments I'm using or what. Interesting. I don't know guys, I'm not getting the cells. You cannot use heat on this. It will produce a skin on your paint. So you don't wanna do that. Pardon my cats, they're having a grand old time. I'm going to switch out actually to my smaller little swipe tool. Same thing. These are all laminated. No, I'm sorry, not laminated. They are laminating sheets sealed on themselves. I just buy the document size. some cells now that's pretty and of course I will spin this and hopefully not make too big of a mess all right I'm gonna do one more swipe over here and then I'm gonna leave that little bit of white space there's not much but I want some white to work with so guys I'm so used to having my heat to help bring up some cells that it's really hard to to not have that it just feels odd but we'll go with the flow Let's see if we can make this work all right maybe I will try adding some little lines there's so much black here I'm not sure if anything's gonna pop up underneath so let's just 
see what we can do. used to such thick paint this went all the way down so I'm just going to try to fill that in with a little white the cells are so tiny guys I just feel like I must have done something wrong again it could be my pigments they are they were my grandmother's oh goodness um, and she passed away 13 years ago that gives you any idea of how old these pigments are. So, if you try this, maybe don't use such old pigments. Alright. I'm going to try one more thing, just because I'm not satisfied with this. I'm going to try to do a little bit of blowing just on this section over here to see if it pulls up any cells. The straw is making it harder than it needs to be. I'm going to try right here. Hmm. All right, well, I might have to watch some more of her videos because I am just not getting the cells like she gets. Let's try spinning it. Just trying to do something with that. So it's a little dangerous because we are just in my living room with a garbage bag on the table and the uh, Lazy Susan is just sitting there. The, the uh, wood piece is taped onto the canvas, or onto the Lazy Susan, but... Paint just does not want to move, guys. try to get some of this off the Lazy Susan so that when I spin it next time maybe it won't throw so much around. Yeah, 
it. All right, not happy with this one, guys, but it was a good experiment. My cells are keeping their shape nicely. If you look here, those all are still very cell looking. They didn't they didn't go wonky, and that's because of the type of paint that I'm using and the thickness. But overall, this is just kind of a blah piece. This edge over here, oh, I've got a bunch of black on that finger. It's like the, the paint just couldn't quite reach the edge here. Let's see if we spin it one more time. If that helps. Hmm. Not loving this, guys. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back with you. I'm, I'm still not loving this one, but I'm going to fiddle with it some just to try to get a feel for what it's like to kind of manipulate the paint, which is my favorite part of Kathy's videos. I just, it looks like so much fun to do what she does. And of course she looks, she makes it look really, really easy. So I'm just dragging my skewer through. I am learning to be more patient and let that paint drip before I pull it up too fast. And I didn't clean off my, my, skewer enough there you see that black that is because I didn't clean my skewer off so I just picked up some white off the table and I will just ooh, mess it up even more there that's a little better maybe all right Looks like there's a hair in there. So I'm using the bigger end of the stick sometimes and the smaller end. You'll get different size lines. This section right here, like what am I supposed to do with that? I'm gonna hyperventilate guys. So sometimes she'll do kind of like a puff like that on her cell activator and it'll bring up cells. It's not working for me. So that is what I'm confused about. I have no cells. I feel like I might need to spin this again, guys. This is kind of pretty. This here I don't care for at all. Let's see if we can't improve upon it. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That is my forever motto in my art room because I've had so many not succeeding <laughs> moments. Uh, I hope you guys are staying well. We have just entered a little bit more of a shutdown here in Michigan. It's a little bit stressful, but thank goodness for art therapy. I am trying to reach 
100 subscribers by my birthday in December. So if you have not already subscribed, I would just be tickled pink if you would hit that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys so very much. It means the world to me. I am so thrilled to have people watching my art journey. If you leave a comment, I try to read each and every comment. I try to respond to as many as possible. Doesn't this look like fun? This is just like fiddle-rama. I just get to fiddle in the paint and see what pretty things you can bring out. That one was too big. And the paint is so forgiving. I mean, not to say this is easy because I'm, I'm clearly struggling with it, but you can just keep, keep fiddling, which is kind of nice. Sorry about the noise in the background. My cats are having a heyday. They like to get rowdy this time of night. All right, guys, I think you get the idea. I'm gonna try to spin this one more time. I'm gonna warn my cameraman that I'm gonna spin it pretty hard. So, sorry about that alarm. All right, I'm gonna spin it one more time the opposite way. I'm gonna call this one done. I don't know if I'll keep it or paint over it, but I think I've done all the damage I can possibly do. I don't know which way it goes. So does it go this way? This way? There? Or there? I don't know. I, I kind of like that way right there. The way you guys are seeing it now. I do feel like the last few spins got a little bit wonky and that's probably because I'm trying to stretch the paint too far. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment. I love to read what you think. What should I have done differently? Maybe I should try some different colors. That copper really took over. I feel like the most of the color on this is copper and copper and black and my other colors just didn't show up. So I'll do some more experimenting. Watch for some more videos on this technique. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you on the next one.